Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here at Maker Faire 2013 with Chris Slaughter of Lynx Lab, and you guys have built a, uh, a pretty neat uh, 3D scanner, something I've never seen before. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, basically there's photo printers and digital cameras. There's 3D printers, but, you know, not a good camera for that. So the Lynx A is the first mobile 3D capture camera, and uh, you can basically point it at anything you want, and it'll produce 3D printable models. So uh, what, what's the technology underlying your 3D camera? So we combined algorithms developed at the University of Texas with a 3D camera and a compute platform to build like an integrated device. And, and this is, it's, it's sitting right behind us right now, but it's about the size of a kind of mid-sized laptop, right? Yeah, so maybe a tablet or a laptop. Uh, and, and the camera, like are you using lasers or just multiple images? What's the, what's the scanning technique? So we use an infrared 3D camera similar to a Kinect, uh, but actually we get about 85% of our information from the fact that the camera's moving and about 15% from the actual 3D data of the camera. So is this something where you have to sit down and sit perfectly still for two hours to be scanned, or is it uh, a little faster than that? Uh, no, and that's what's really different about this. I mean, scanning people with a regular handheld 3D scanner, the ones that cost $10,000 or more, it can take two hours plus, and if you move, it's over. Uh, what's nice about this camera is that it's got a lot of error correcting qualities. So after about 25 seconds, even if you move around, you should have a nice, solid, sharp looking model. So how big and how small are the things that you can scan with your, with your scanner? So uh, with the, 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 the camera that's available in mid-June, you can do things as small as an Easter egg or as big as the room of a building. Wow, and, and, but that's different than the one that you're showing on the floor today, right? Uh, well, the one that we're showing on the floor, the only thing that's different is that it's still a prototype. It's built out of plastic. Uh, the one that's shipping in June, we're making out of aluminum. Fantastic. And how much will this cost when you're shipping them? Uh, $2,000. And so who is this for? Is this for people who have 3D printers and want to make copies of their action figures? What's the, what's the market here? Well, it's, you know, really it's for anyone that works with 3D. So 3D printers love this, architects really like this, uh, you know, visual effects artists, um, you know, even just real estate agents. You know, some people have used it for that. Uh, but it's really about taking 3D, which is typically done by hand, and making it accessible to anyone that can use a camera. Yeah, I don't know how to use CAD programs, but I can probably scan, is what you're saying. And that's the crazy thing, because I mean, only about, everyone wants a 3D printer, but only about 2% of people in the nation know how to use 3D design software. Everyone can use a camera. Fantastic. Um, can we get a demo? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great. So Okay, so that looks like a 3D model of me. Yep, sure is. Um, and and is this at this point is it ready to print? If I wanted to jam this in my MakerBot, could I do that? Uh, it's totally ready to print. So you can take it right off the camera into a MakerBot. Oh, and, and you pr uh, make the X3D files out. You don't have to slice it or anything like that. Nothing like that. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so terrific. The the one that's shipping later this year will be a little higher resolution, but it's just software updates. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll have more from Maker Fair 2013. Uh, see you guys later. Okay. That's